Hey guys, before you go any further in this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe, thumbs up. Really help us out with the algorithm. Keeps, uh, keeps everything going, so please make sure to do that. Now let's get on to the live action. All right, so if you've ordered something from Ultraview recently, they send you this uh, little plastic test release. Now, Ultraview states, do not pull anything back more than 30 pounds right here. So don't do this and don't do what I'm fixing to do. I am a professional. No, I just don't wanna, I don't care. So if it causes damage to the bow, it's, I don't, I don't really care. So what I wanna do is I wanna, for one, I wanna see if I can draw a 60 pound bow back with it. Of course, with an arrow in the bow facing a target. So we're safe. And then I think I'm gonna like cut on this thing a little bit to see if I could actually make a shot go off with it, with the plastic release. I'm thinking if I do some cutting on it, I might could actually get it to where it would slide through and let the shot off. So I've got my Elite Echelon 39. And uh, you know what? I'm just gonna send it. Uh, before we do that, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, got to get the views and everything up i think i'm going to post this on my second channel so uh this if it, if that's the case second channel doesn't have but like 80 viewers right or sorry 80 subscribers but i have like some videos with five and six thousand views so i can't continue to make youtube videos if i don't uh get the viewer or like get the uh get get everything up in the algorithm with with you know likes and subscribes and stuff like that it actually makes a big difference um so let's go let's try this now note um ultra view does say i want to put some safety glasses on just to be careful like i said ultra view does state to not do this so i'm going against what they say in their book you know in their uh, thing my biggest concern is hitting myself in the mouth so I'm going to kind of look away. Good Lord. My God, I will say this. If this plastic release holds anything like what the, uh, I haven't shot the new one, like the metal ones, but that thing holds great. And it just held this 60 pound bow like a champ. Mmm. I don't know. I think if I cut off some of this hook, I'll be able to set a shot off. I'm gonna try it, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. Why not? Now, I know that this is a really stupid idea, and don't try this at home. I mean, it's not, you know, this is, I'm doing this so you guys don't have the temptation to do it at home. But what I've done, I just took and cut that little knob, knob off. Um, my thought is I can make it uh, slide through there. I'm just taking off some of the rough edges because I don't want to damage my D-loop, but I mean, I can always just tie another one on. Uh, so here is my modified ultra view test release death trap probably get sued over this hopefully not Colby if you're watching yeah I done it alright it's time to launch Oh, make sure I am recording because this is going to be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I have to keep checking to make sure I'm recording because my phone's been doing some stupid stuff lately. Uh, so I'm going to kind of torque it back. Okay. that 
Okay, that was scary. I'm gonna have to trim some more off of it. I was hoping it would slide right by that. That was, I was hoping it would go off. I was really articulating that, uh, this thing. It's probably a stupid idea, but we're gonna get a shot off. One way or another. That's definitely the D-Loop Getter 5000 there. All right, I wanna make the shot go off. My biggest fear is like the release come out of my hand and hitting my other hand, that'd be horrible. <laughs> or bouncing back and getting me in the eye. That's what I don't want. Okay, I think I can get it to come off that shelf now. <laughs> Talk about a long travel, but I actually just aced it down there. We're going to do that again. I'm going to trim a little bit off of it. What the heck? All right, I'm getting, this is a little dangerous here. So I got her notched. All right, we're not gonna shoot this anymore after this. Ooh. Talk about the ultimate surprise shot. You have no idea when this thing's going off. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe I'm shooting with a plastic release. I'm actually grouping really good with this thing. <laughs> well, this kind of stuff's not supposed to happen. What the heck? Don't try this at home, but it can be done. I'm gonna throw this in my bag. It's like a emergency release, I guess. Yeah. I just center punched it down there at 20 yard. Guys, hit that subscribe button. We'll see y'all again, thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe.